Today, I want to talk about why I support Palestinian um, independence. Um, because Palestinians are Muslims, and my families are also Muslims from China. Uh, that's part of my identity. Uh, so it shapes how I see the treatment of uh, Muslims in uh, Palestine by the Israelis really as um, genocide. When America and the West talking about the genocide of Uyghurs in, um, in Xinjiang, there's absolutely no evidence of pictures or video to show the graphic uh, pictures or videos showing how a Palestinian Muslim being treated. The kids are being bombed, uh, killed, buildings are destroyed, and, but there's no such uh, uh, pictures of live pictures with purse in it shows those people are being killed, uh, building being destroyed, uh, you know, on live uh, video. The reason I have such a strong sympathy for uh, Palestinians or um, because, like I said, my families are Muslims, even though I look very Chinese, but our uh, forefathers, our ancestors are not from China. Uh, back in the, about a thousand years ago, when Mongol, uh, Mongolian army uh, captured the, uh, most of the Asia, uh, all the way to Europe and Africa, uh, they brought, they actually brought uh, many of the, they captured the many uh, soldiers uh, in, and uh, craftsmen and brought them to uh, China to act as security forces for the Mongolian Empire in China. And then uh, this, those soldiers and the craftsmen settled in China and married with uh, local people and such, you know, during that time, our ethnic group become a distinct group from the rest of China, the Chinese. So, um, and in China, as a Muslim, my memory of being a Hui Muslim in China is a privilege that a special treatment was given to uh, Muslims in China uh, more than uh, any other ethnic groups. Because a, a Chinese Muslim group are still a practice Islamic um, religion. Uh, for example, my mom, during Ramadan last month, she was fasting for a whole month. Uh, you know, she, she didn't eat during, you know, after sunrise and only eat um, after sunset. And she bathed and she fast according to the Islamic uh, laws. We, because my mom is a um, very devout, uh, you know, a Muslim, and I'm actually converted to uh, Christian. Uh, we have many debate about in our belief um, so I can elaborate that later when I'm going to talk about my Christian faith. Um, but in, as, um, growing up in China as a Hui Muslim really have a lot of perks that not many people know about it. Um, only the Hui Muslim knows about it or, you know, um, uh, Muslims, for example, uh, in college. I, um, because we have a dietary restriction that we uh, stay away from eating pork or any of those um, products, and we have this distaste for the smell of pork, you know, being cooked uh, or being eaten. So um, the Chinese government uh, built special cafeterias only catering to Muslims including Hui Muslims, um, other Muslims like Uyghurs, uh, you know, Kazakhs. There's about a dozen uh, Muslim groups in China. 
So um, the government has a very strict policy to protect our, to respect our dietary needs. Uh, back in in the 80s and 70s, when China was have food shortage, um, in order for to ensure that we have meat to eat, like beef and uh, um, lamb, that we that actually uh, prepared by uh, imams, we actually have those coupons that are given to us that we will go to the a special window in the grocery store that we can buy um, by the kind of food, uh, by meat, uh, chickens, um, beet, beef, lambs, chickens. Those uh, have to be um, prepared by imam during, um, you know, has to be, there is a ceremony for that in one basically kill when you um uh, a cow or sheep or chicken were killed it has to be uh, kosher or hala so um so that's how chinese government uh protect uh the sort the source of food for the muslims um the at the college uh, because we don't want to mi mingle with uh, pork eating uh, minor ethnic group people in the same cafeteria. So the government uh, require uh, colleges and um, workplace to have special um, special cafeterias or at least a window that only uh, catering to Muslims. Um, they will have signs to, you know, have this Islamic uh, scripture put on the the window or uh, or the cafeteria to indicate those are the um, halal rest, uh, cafeterias uh, exclusively for Muslim uh, students or employees. My other perks that very few people actually uh, enjoy that is. I got a, a private ha a dorm just because I was a Muslim. See, uh, one in China, um, when you work for a, a, a company, if you don't, if you are not from uh, the local area, uh, you are a transplant. the The employer is required to provide a dormitory for you, the housing. So when I graduated from college. Um, I, I actually, um, uh, got a private room, uh, which is normally reserved for, uh, an employee with a 10 year tenure with a company and, that, um, a graduate degree. But when I graduated from, uh, college, just because I'm a Muslim, they gave you give me the uh, private dorm just so I don't have to mingle with other uh, Han em employees. So it make a lot of people uh, jealous. Um, I was a very uh, mystery mysterious employee in the um, in the whole um, residence because um, I live alone, unlike other. Uh, employees in the in the residence hall in the building that normally you know three or four of them sharing a bigger room but i actually um actually i have a small room all to my all to myself and then uh, when i work uh, because i was a um, trained interpreter so i work with um, the big boss in the company and and a lot of time i work with uh, require me to go eat out eating with, um, you know, at the banquet to be interpreter for the big boss. Uh, and then I, they always know that I'm a Muslim. So they, they will make sure that I have food that is not, you know, it's not pork. Uh, so because of that, I have a special, you know, I got a lot of uh, special attention. 
so those are my very good memories of being a Muslim in China. Uh, I, I actually love it. Um, I feel I was treated being a little princess. Uh, everywhere I go, people I just make sure that my, you know, my knees are being mad. Um, so I got a, you know, special uh, attention. Um, so those are my very good uh, memories of um, being a Hui Muslim in China.